Alright, I'm Matt and I'm back with Duskers, where last time we started our run in the first systems with the four uh, initial ships. And then checked out Emilianus, the fuel depot, and uh, our first auto trader. Now this time, as I said, we will try to get Lauren, the military A, with the high scrap capacity. I mean, we currently have 28 scrap and we have a capacity of 50, but... Uh, I like to have a big scrap capacity and if we can maybe get a bigger uh, or maybe get a, a ship upgrade or two as well. There's a dormant drone in room 2. Two infestation types which I'm thinking is brutes and uh, sentry bots because we are still in the second system. Uh, it's a military A, we know that. Crew 1. Uh, a military A is a big ass ship. And it has a crew of 1. I mean, sure, we are going to crew this alone as well, but that one is new. I don't think I've seen uh, a crew of 1 before. So, we also got a communication. The sequence of events simply doesn't uh, add up. There's something that couldn't be, uh, that's corrupted. Meant from loss uh, of contact and nothing suggests there was a disturbance in space-time. Whoever wrote this report are only seeing things that I want to see. Uh, this is getting linked with the, theo uh, with the theory cosmic event. Space-time and uncertainty suggest cosmic anomaly as cause of existential risk. Uh, the GIL uh, lines, the blue ones, are actually info from our ship's computer or uh, library, I'm not sure which. The objective truth is that readings present an element of specific specificity that is not often found in nature. They something a pattern. First loss of communication, then loss of location. Something will require f further military investigation. Military invol involvement highlighted. Recommended course of action. Acquire additional log data from mis military vessels. Damn, I can't English today. Uh, so, yeah. Our ne one of our next uh, tasks is to get more military vessels. Or to dock at more vi military vessels. The dormant drone in... R2 is actually a destroyed one. Uh, when drones get to zero hit points, they they have two options. One, uh, they get destroyed. The other is they get disabled. The difference between disabled and destroyed is pretty much like mostly dead and all dead. Uh, Oh, right, I got a scanner. What? Oh, right. In, yeah, the difference between uh, dormant and destroyed is pretty much the same as the one between mostly dead and all dead, as in mostly dead, just like uh, disabled means slightly alive, that means it can still be salvaged. Nothing. Oh wait. So uh, pulled back to your docking bay. While destroyed means that... Oh, that one isn't powered. That uh, yeah, there's no, there's nothing you can do with it. Okay, that's good actually. Well, nothing besides uh, going through the pockets for loose change, which is to say, grab all the upgrades that are still on it and make off with those. Ah. Huh. Got a room we can't check. I don't like that. Now I'm going to do something that's not recommended. 
unless you really know what you're doing. Doesn't so sound like swarms at least. Nothing but event. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I I wasn't sure if there would be anything in R5. But it doesn't look like there was anything. No oh, wait. Did I? No I didn't. Okay, D8 is a tiny room. Uh, the room behind D8. D8 uh, isn't a room at all, it's a door and I'm not sure I want to be in there. Hmm. Damn it! That was bad. So we just lost Kelly. Just got disabled. Which is good in so far as... <sighs> hmm. I should have dropped the trap in R8. How do we do this? How do we salvage this situation? Now we can kind of see what is there. Okay, that's a good thing about uh, leapers. They patrol between two rooms. good thing about them. The bad thing is they do uh, 90 damage. I'm gonna have to grab Kelly later. Actually the question is do I need the interface? Survey. Do I have the motion? No, I don't. How do I do this? Actually, let me do it like this. Hmm. Okay, I've got the trap on Kelly. I'm just going to clear out uh, R2. Okay. Okay, what do I... Okay. 
Because I've got no safe way to to get this guy out. Cleared out from uh, R8 and R9 because it will keep patrolling between between those rooms as long as I don't do anything with that door. Okay. Okay. And it didn't even kill the uh kill the terminal. Yeah, this one isn't powered, of course it isn't. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Oh, because we can't get through here. Thing is, enemies can get through, but we can't. Sensor and Sonic. Hmm. Yes. Indeed. I've got the feeling that uh, the generator that we're still missing for the rest of the ship is going to be in R10. Just because it's one of those days. <laughs> then again, there doesn't seem to be anything in R11. It's it's making me a bit, uh, what's the word? Paranoid. Because uh, we should have two infestation types. So far we found one. Now I'm very sure it has to be a sentry bot. Oh, nice. Generators here. I'm very sure it has to be the sentry bot, but... Uh, Not getting it at all? Kinda odd. And it's not in D10 either. <laughs> that means it has to be in, uh, in, in, in R10, not in D10. That means it has to be in R12. Bad thing is, this ship has no ship upgrade slots. At least none we know of. Okay. Okay, that sound kinda scared me just now. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a Bit nervous. So let me recap. 12 rooms, no, 11 rooms and 2 enemies. And that whole damn ship. And I'm a dumbass because I could have just... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because I did the same mis or made the same mistake I did last episode. I know there's a sentry bot. And I didn't tr drop a trap for it, but uh, yeah. Only gave one scrap. Not too great. Oh, now we've got a defense. And a ship... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We do have a ship upgrade slot. Good. 
So how do we do this? Gonna have to put those two on here. I think it was just two upgrades. Yeah, sensor and sonic. Okay. Whew. However, with this ship uh, cleared out. That's another thing uh, about military A. They don't have a lot of airlocks. Oops. Two R one like this, okay. No, not gather list. I wanted to commandeer this ship. Yeah, seventy eight scrap capacity, two ship up upgrade slots, which uh, our current ship also has, and seven propulsion fuel charge, which which is great actually. That's uh, yeah, that's another thing about uh, military A. They tend to have seven propulsion fuel sometimes. Sometimes, uh, okay. Other times it's uh, only uh, five instead. But yeah. All right. Uh, Kelly is disabled. Motion is deteriorating, and has a brake pro probability of fifteen point uh, four percent. Once the brake Rake probability goes over 15%, it gets uh, yellow with one uh, exclamation mark. I think 20 or 30% is the next uh, stage with two. And when it's fully broken, it's, uh, it's red and can't be repaired. The thing is, as, uh, as soon as it's yellow like this, it can break in the next mission. So there's that. Now we've got two propulsion fuel, five reserve and three jump fuel, which means we can make it to the clouded buff. But we've got a new objective. Uh, cosmic event. The theory is, th is this. It's clear that given our nascent understanding of the universe, there are dangers we do not understand, like a fisherman setting out on the ocean, unaware of typhoons. Th these cosmic events could therefore make themselves evident and evident at any moment. Then there are then there are uh, our various advancements in technology, many of which could trigger such an e event before we fully understand what we've done, and it could be impossible to get the, to get that genie back in the bottle, like the um, black hole thingy that we were or that some people were afraid of with the large hadron hadron collider. So. We are at 20 minutes, I think we're gonna do another ship. Now we need to repair one drone. The problem is Kelly uh, has already been used quite a bit and we know uh, she can't actually take a lot of damage, so I think I'm gonna repair Noah. I don't have to repair the drone fully, but I think I will because Noah will become our new scout drone, Abby becomes our new uh, drone 3. The next thing is, do we have more motion sensors? We have... Uh, we can actually put two more uh, traps into the trap. We have another motion sensor, so I think I'll just keep move, uh, using this one until the other one breaks. Okay, okay, that must have been added with an upgrade I didn't 
uh, with a update of the game I didn't see because your uh, main ship's video signal tends to uh, break down as well. Okay, we've got the repairs. Uh, let's just switch out our drones. Actually, I could have scrapped Kelly right away. I wanted you in slot 1. You... What do you get? No, the generator should still stay in here. You get the motion, the tow and the interface. And you get the gather, oops, the trap and the scanner. I could use sensor instead, but I think motion is fine for now. So modifications, we are gonna scrap Kelly. Farewell Kelly. Now we've got Noah, Cliff and Abby. The next ship we check is the clouded buff and I think then we'll... Uh, move to a different system and maybe come back to this one later because we've got this system as well with eight objects this one with nine so i think we are going from here down to this then up here then here back here and down here just as an idea but to keep the video from running way too long we're going in. Okay, we did dock at another military vessel, but didn't get a new uh, communication. Too bad. Uh, another military A, directive blockading, crew of five, and landing craft in the hold. Name clouded buff. Two infestation types again, and nothing we saw on the initial scan. And I'm just realizing I could have I used remote power in the last ship. Anyway. Ooh, propulsion fuel. Which is a nice start. A defense, which is just as nice. Not much by ways of information about the next rooms. Come on, Abby. Come on in. Okay, so we know the, uh, the room behind D12 is clear. For now. And it will stay that way because the door is closed. There's a generator here. Which is good. Hmm. We know R5 isn't clear. We don't know what's behind D6. Yes, that's fine. Hmm. Actually, that was kind of dumb. Because I didn't check... Uh, didn't scan R6 and R7. Let me... Correct that. Okay. D3, uh, R3 is a very big room. Got an, inter an access terminal. I keep calling these things interface because uh, the interface upgrade is... Okay, R4 holds a uh, ship defense and no more enemies. <laughs> I like that. That I like. Whee! Re scrap. That I also like. <laughs> Okay. Okay, no. Okay, a ship defense and nothing else. 
So yeah, the the other uh, infestation type is indeed brutes. Let's just see if anything will come out of R3 and into R4. Hmm. I think we've waited long enough on this room. Okay, everything closed. Very good. Nothing. Okay, the results on R8 are inconclusive, that's fine. Ooh, Marvin! Hey, that's me! <laughs> no, actually I'm Matt, but, you know. Nah, Marvin is my nickname on a on a forum or two, and yeah, it's, it kind of stuck. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. So let's see how we do this. Just gonna salvage this one. To R5. And I'm sorry, this video will probably run a bit longer already. I should have stopped after the first uh, ship. Actually, maybe I can I can speed it up a little. What? Let's do it like this. I know we've got three rooms back there, none of which... Uh, grab it. None of which can be scanned. But let's see what we've got here. Okay, a defense in R9. Which is what I hoped for. That's the that's another thing about military ships, they tend to be lousy with defenses. Hmm. This is not what I wanted. Uh. Okay, so it's gonna run a bit long. Okay. Oh, crap it, we've got an open door. Okay. Okay, so we had a combat drone, sentry pod. Sense is deactivated, good. Yep. Ooh, drop three again. Which is great. The thing is, uh, I have no idea as, uh, uh, whether D D7 is going to be safe.
I can take one hit. <laughs> okay, we've got a ship upgrade in here, which is nice. Uh, we've got uh, the room behind D9 is tiny. And yeah, that's about it. So let's see how get how do we get out of here? What does Noah have that we don't need right now? Trap. Um Okay, I can't. <laughs> I wanted to close D20, but I can't. Not from this generator. Okay, this door is closed. Actually, let's close all. If there's anything behind door 9, I don't think it's it's going to be uh, a sentry bot. And I've got the feeling there is there isn't anything actually. Yeah, nothing. Well, except for defense, but Okay. Oh, nice. Just gonna trade the motion back to back to Abby. And then we are out of here. I won't commandeer this ship. Uh, it does have three upgrade slots, but uh, it has a lower scrap capacity, if I'm not mistaken. 48, I think. So. So we've got one propulsion fuel and 11 scrap. That's pretty nice. Our tow is deteriorating. I could repair it. But uh, I won't, because uh, the tow is an upgrade you can create yourself. I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, we've got a very damaged uh, reroute power upgrade. We've got a gather and a stealth upgrade for the drones. And of course, we got the drone Marvin. Now, we could install the reroute power. I haven't used it much yet. I have seen Jury Rigged in a daily challenge uh, and now I know how it works, <laughs> which is an imp improvement because I didn't really know how it works before, so there's that. But I won't install it. I won't install it yet. So we've got a. Nearly, oh, we've got an, an upgrade toe, so we will keep that one in actually. Marvin has. A max hit point has maximum hit points of 120, which is pretty nice. I might phase out uh, Cliff or Abby for him later, or <laughs> actually next video, or even even later videos because uh, I don't think don't think uh, I'll do that right away because. Uh, 
the slot Abby is taking up now for toe and interface, uh, they don't need that much, uh, that many hit points. The same for Cliff. Uh, the, the generator drone usually doesn't need many hit points, except when there's slime. And now we've got remote power, so if there is slime, I can pull out Cliff and use the remote power. So there's that. It would be useful as a as a backup for the explorer. I might think about it. The thing is that the video signals of the drones tend to degrade as well. And then you have to fix that video signal. And I think that costs uh, seven scrap or even eight while scrapping the drone. No, I think seven scrap while scrapping that drone gives you eight scrap. And then you have to pay uh, to repair the next drone, but in the case of Marvin, that would be 12 scrap. So we are at a net, uh, net consumption of uh, 6 scrap instead of 8, which is pretty nice. Of course, it changes when, you've, when you get a 4 slot drone, but that's for a different time. And yeah, what I sh wanted to show about the toe right quick. If I convert it into scrap, I get 3 uh, scrap. If I repair it, that costs me 10 scrap. But Toe is one of those I can create, again for 10 scrap. So if I convert the old Toe into scrap, that gives me 3, I still have to pay the 10. But with the 3 uh, I get back from scrapping the old one, I am at, uh, I'm only paying 7 instead of the full 10. So there's a neat little trick. The same goes for Generator and uh, Gather, with the difference that they only cost 8. Okay, um, yeah, next time I think we will visit the Aviso system or Iwane. I'm not sure what is there. Oh, we've got a lot of stations in Iwane. I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Two auto trades could be useful. Yeah, I think we are. We're gonna do that next time. Actually, let's let's just jump to Iwane right now. Ooh. Even more systems, nice! And we are at Maturin Station. Wasn't that the name of the ship's doctor in the Aubrey Maturin uh, series? Was that even his name? I'm not sure. Anyway, so this is where we'll pick up next time. And until then, thank you and good night!